This is my very first digital painting and I will try to explain you in about 10 minutes how I created it and if you want to learn more and have access to the full tutorial join my Patreon page and you will get a PSD file with guidance and also you will get a special brushes that I created and used in making this artwork. First thing that I did was to create this really weird looking tree shape. I saved a lot of tree, weird tree images and I try to understand how they were made. I'm going to add a new solid color adjustment layer and I'm going to use this dark blue color. Then I'm going to invert the mask. So on the mask uh, properties, I'm going to click invert. Then I'm going to take the brush tool and the white color. I'm going to paint a really weird tree shape. After I finished it, uh, the overall shape, I started to draw the branches, the outside branches and I kept in mind that uh, the tip, the end of the branch should be thinner than the base of the branch. So after a while, after I don't know, a lot of time, I ended up with uh, this uh, tree uh, shape and then I created the uh, inside branches for this weird tree and I respected the same idea I created a new solid color adjustment layer but I changed the color into a brighter uh, blue color this one and the same thing I inverted the mask and then with the white color I started to paint the branches inside this uh, tree shape and this is all random if I do it again I'm 100% sure that I'll do it in another way. So for now I'm going to stop here so I can explain you uh, the next step because this process took me like two days to create the entire uh, branches of uh, this uh, shape. After I finished with uh, some random uh, branches I switched to the black color and I decided which branch should be uh, on top of uh, the other one. So for example here where they intersect I lowered the brush size and I painted uh, with the black color on the mask and basically this branch is on top of the other one and here I decided to do the exactly opposite to go with uh, this one so uh, this is how I uh, place my branches one on top of uh, the other and I repeated the process where uh, I wanted to have one branch on top of uh, the other one After I finished with this part I decided to add some uh, volume to those branches and uh, to create some lights and shadows. So I created a new layer and I clipped it inside and set this layer to uh, multiply. Then I took a brush that I created to make some shadows, some wood shadows on those branches. So for example I will have my light coming from this area so that means we will have the shadows a bit on the left area so for example on this because I already made the branches I will hold ctrl and click on the mask and on the layer set to multiply and this uh, brush flow should be 10% I will uh, start to paint I created uh, the shadows and now for the lights I'm going to create another layer which I'm going to clip it inside which I'm going to clip it inside and then I'm going to set it to screen and I'm going to use a brighter color a brighter blue color and I'm going to do the same thing hold control click on the mask of the branches and on the other side I'm going to add the lights so this is how I created uh, those uh, branches with lights and shadows. This part with just creating the branches took me an entire day. Adding the lights and shadows to create uh, depth and volume to the branches took me another full day. Then behind them I created like a cloudy uh, background. I uh, painted with a blue color. And then in front of those trees I decided to paint some grass and I used Devin Elkert's brushes which are amazing. They are free so go get them because uh, they are a game changer. Thank you. 
and then in the middle I decided to paint some stairs. And then I decided to have some front grass also, uh, because uh, here this part will be inside the water. So uh, by using the same uh, David L. Kurtz brushes, I painted uh, some uh, plants. Then I painted uh, even uh, more plants to have uh, more diversity. And on a layer set to multiply, I painted some shadows from the trees and here at the base of the trees I painted uh, by using the same Devin Elkert's brushes I painted some flowers and for the light sources I painted a planet that looks like a moon and behind the moon on a layer set to color dodge I added uh, some lights you create a new layer you fill it with the black color and then you set it to color dodge and I took the brush tool and then with a cyan color I started to paint behind the moon after that to fill this space inside it, the middle of my artwork i duplicated the tree shape and i placed the trees many times behind the main trees we have the sensation the feeling that we have many trees over there but actually is the same tree duplicated a few times and i lowered the opacity then on the sides of my tree i painted some uh, mountains here on the right and here on the left side then i use a lot of uh, lamp references to paint uh, my own uh, lamp then i duplicated this uh, lamp place it uh, on the right side also and i duplicated two more times and place it behind uh, where I had those uh, three duplicated. Now because we have those light sources that means they will cast some lights on our trees. So first thing that I did create a new layer and uh, set it to linear dodge. Then double click on the layer and here where we have the blend if I hold alt and drag the right slider more to the right. I took uh, orangey yellow color and I started to paint on my uh, branches here on this uh, side and this is how I uh, created those uh, reflections on the trees and then for the rim lights I just created a new layer and I uh, left it to normal and I started to paint with uh, some of the lights on the edges of my trees After I finished with adding the rim lights and uh, reflections from the light sources on the tree, I did the same thing on the grass. And now we have that uh, reflection in the grass also. Then by following the same idea, I painted uh, those two plants, those uh, imaginary plants on left and right of the stairs. Then I studied a lot of wizards to see uh, how can I add one of the characters in the middle of my artworks and I decided to create a child wizard and I got inspired by uh, looking on how wizards are uh, designed by other artists. So the way I created this wizard was to divide him in uh, a few parts because I have never done this before so I didn't want to create him uh, from one layer only. So I divided in a few parts as I said. First part was the row part so uh, I created a shape and uh, then I uh, like I did on the tree first I painted uh, the shadows on a layer set to multiply and then I painted the highlights to have those folds on the robe. On a layer set to color, I painted the sides of the robe to have this uh, orangey uh, look. And then by following the same idea, I painted the rest of the character. And because we have two light sources here that are closest to our subject, I painted uh, a shadow that uh, it's uh, in two directions, not just one direction. So uh, actually here we have uh, a shadow that goes to this direction because we have uh, the lights that come from here. And also we'll have some shadows that go to this direction because we have the slide that comes from here. 
And then I painted this little uh, cute pet uh, near the wizard. I inspired, as I said, from uh, many pictures that I found of Pinterest and I study how other people did their pets and I love it and I try to do a really unique and weird pet as my own. And then for the water reflection I created a screenshot, press Ctrl T and flip it uh, vertically and drag it underneath and then press again Ctrl T, hold shift and drag the lower part to the top to shrink it a bit. I selected this area, now this area shouldn't be visible and I hold Alt and click on the mask and now we have our water reflection. For this water reflection I followed a tutorial by my friend Nori Redwan from photomanipulation.com YouTube channel and it's really great and really fast. You should watch it, I'm going to give you the link for it in the video description. All those steps will be explained in my full tutorial that I have on my Patreon account so be sure to join my Patreon if you want to learn even more. On this uh, water reflection first thing that I'm doing is to add a motion blur. Go to filter blur, motion blur and here use a 90 degree angle, 15 pixels depending on your artwork size and then go to filter and ch here choose filter gallery and on the filter gallery we go to desort uh, glass and on the glass we will uh, choose frosted and here I'm going to load the texture that I just created as I said by following Neri Red One tutorial and after I imported the file with the water displacement it looks uh, like that and I'm going to hit ok. After that I decided to paint some lilies on the water so I created a new layer and by using one of my brushes the lilies brushes I used a green color a dark green color and I painted one over here. And at the end I decided to uh, add some uh, really cool uh, evil eyes on the tree and I created a brush specially for these tiny eyes that uh, you can see between uh, those branches. So uh, I created a new layer and uh, then using my brush I just uh, started to add those eyes inside the tree. You can get this brush also uh, by following my Patreon. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, it's my first attempt to create a digital painting without using any photos and I try to explain you the best I could how I did it. I am really curious to find out your opinions about it and if you want the full tutorial and also the brushes and the water displacement map, join my Patreon account where I have monthly assignments and the most important, I give you feedback to your work. I am Mr. 23, see you next time.